Good. Well, hello, Alan. Happy New Year's. You got some big plans for tonight? Yes, I have quite a bit of work to do. Work? It's New Year's Eve. I take it Olivia still isn't here. Yeah, correct about that. She hasn't spent a night here in the house since Christmas Eve. Because you won't let her back in? Right again. Well, what did she do? Anyhow, Alan, it must have been pretty serious if you're making her suffer like this. She hasn't suffered enough. Not nearly enough. But she will. I guarantee you. Oh, Alan. I hate to say it, but right now, you look like the one who's suffering. Alan, you look so sad. Did they think for one minute about the consequences of their actions? No! They? Olivia and... Philip? Oh, good Lord. What did they do now? You remember that they got stuck in the elevator on our wedding day? Well, they passed the time by kissing like a couple of besotted teenagers. What? Yes, and uh, security got it all on tape. Lucky me. I can't believe that Philip would do something like that. I don't want to believe it myself. Well, of course you don't. <laughs> but, you know, Philip has always been that way, always trying to better me, always trying to top me. Well, now, wait a minute here. This is not just Philip's fault. How about Olivia? She's not a complete innocent no, here. No, no, she's not. And that's why I am going to take everything she has. Oh, Alan. Just, just divorce her and have it over with. Just admit that she has caused you nothing but grief and end it. Let me ask you something. You're seeing Bill Lewis tonight, aren't you? <laughs> what does that have to do has with Has he it? ever hurt you in the short time that you've been seeing each other? I suppose. Yes, and you're still with him, despite your disappointment. Ending it is not a solution for me. Get your point. <clears throat> well, I, I have to go back to the hotel and, and change. Bill and I are taking Lizzie to the country club. Well, have a wonderful evening, Beth. <laughs> 